So we're going to start standing. If you have blocks, we are going to, you can use them if you need them. If you don't have them, that's okay. Find your feet. Soften your knees. Give them a nice little bounce. We're going to rock gently back and forth from the ball to the heel of the foot. We're going to let the arms swing a little bit. Kind of get ourselves in the mood and in the space to practice. And then go ahead and land into the feet. We're going to find mountain. Turn the palms to face forward. Roll your right shoulder back. Roll your left shoulder back. Tuck your chin. And now lift up through the top of your head. Well, that stretch in the rib cage. Pull the waistline in. Soften the knees again. And now gently push into the feet. Lift through the heart. We're going to take three nice breaths here. Just a nice breath in. Maybe let it out the mouth. In. Out through the mouth. In. And out through the mouth. Now we're going to breathe in and out through the nose. Inhale, sweep up. Let the palms come together. Exhale down to the heart. Bend the knees. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale to the heart. Bend the knees. Exhale, down to the heart. We're going to take our thumbs. We're going to bring them right against our breastbone. We're going to roll the shoulders back and down. Find your feet, soften your knees, and simply take three more breaths here. Feel the air in your nostrils. Feel your chest moving beneath your hands. One more. If you're not at the top of your mat, come up to the top of your mat. Feet are about hip distance. Inhale, reach up, sweep up. We're going to stretch up through our fingertips. We're going to maybe start to take the thumbs back behind us, opening up through the heart. And then exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, sweep them up, this time nice and slow. And then when you get to the top, maybe lift your heels. Exhale, lower the heels, lower the arms. Inhale, reach up the arms, pull your waistline in. Squeeze through your inner thighs, lift. Exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, reach up, stretch up through your fingertips, lift up, pull the belly button in. Exhale, lower back down. Let the shoulders relax. Breath in, sweep up. On your exhale, hands to your thighs. We're going to gently fold forward. Halfway lift, hands on thighs or fingertips to shins, whatever's more comfortable, but then you may want to lengthen through our spine. Exhale, let your fingertips find the floor. We're going to step back to a down dog. Find your down dog shape, upside down V. Soften the knees. Stretch back to the tailbone. Your fingers are spread nice and wide here. We're pushing the mat away. We're pulling the waistline in and we're reaching back that tailbone. We're going to go ahead and as we inhale, we're going to drop our knees close to the mat. And then exhale, pull the belly button and come back. Inhale, knees close to the mat. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, use that core to pull your belly button back. Come on back one more time. Knees close to the mat. Exhale, come on back. We're going to alternate between bending our knees and lifting our heels here. If the back of your legs are really tight, you don't have to touch your heels down to the floor. And in fact, everything that we do, your heels never have to come all the way down. You can keep them just a little bit above. Find where you're comfortable, and now breathe. If you're forgetting to breathe, go ahead and take a few breaths here. Getting those legs nice and stretched up. We're going to go ahead and drop down to our knees. And we're going to bring our hips back toward our ankles, stretching into a child's pose. And then on the inhale, bring your shoulders over your wrist. Exhale, bend your elbows. Inhale, push the mat away. Exhale, come back. Inhale, shoulders over your wrist. Think about pulling. So make sure your head's not into your shoulders. Pull the shoulders out of your ears. Bend up and back. One more. Shoulders over the wrist. Bend up and back. Take a breath in. And out. One more. Bring your Wrist back underneath your shoulders. Your fingers are spread nice and wide. We're going to take an inhale. We're going to raise our left arm up and open up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, right arm reaches up. 
Exhale, come down. Inhale, left leg goes long. Ball the foot down to the mat. And again, notice if your hip is up high, that left hip, bring that hip down. Because a lot of times it wants to roll up. So see if you can bring it down. Make sure your wrists are comfortable where they're at and your hands are comfortable. Stretch back through that heel. And then we're going to take and lift that leg up. And if it's comfortable for you, we're going to take our right arm long and stretch out. If it's not okay for you to lift your arm, you don't have to lift the arm. And try to make sure that your arm's not up too high, you're reaching level. And then knee down, hand down, take a breath. Let it out. Other side. Right leg goes back long, follow the foot down to the mat. Make sure that right hip's not up high. Stretch through the toes, reach back through your heel. Get a nice stretch here. And then take your left arm up. Reach your left arm long. Pull the shoulders away from your, so make sure again, you're not rounding through your shoulders, shoulders draw out of your ears. Reach, maybe lift the leg. Find your breath. And then exhale, hand down, knee down. We're gonna do one cat and one cow. Lift the heart and tailbone. On your exhale, tuck your chin, round through your back and your shoulders. Come back to a neutral spine. We're gonna do proud poodle to each side. Turn your head to the left. Take your turn, look like you have a tail. Take your shoulder towards your hip. Feel that stretch through your opposite side. And come back to center. Turn the head to the right. Turn and look, feel that stretch to that side. Come back to center. Find your breath. We're gonna walk our hands out in front of us. Turn your toes down and under, lift up the knees, down dog, stretch back. We're going to come into a plank. If you need to drop your knees here, drop your knees. Bring your shoulders over your wrist, pull your waistline up and in. We're going to raise our right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest. Arch your back here, pull that knee up nice and high. Inhale, send the leg long. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, shoulders over your wrist. If you need to drop the knees, drop the knees. Bring the left leg up. Exhale, knee into the chest, arch the back. Inhale long. Exhale down. Soften your knees, look to your hands, step your feet up. Fold. Halfway lift, shoulders out of the ears. Lengthen through the spine. Fold. Inhale, reach up, be tall. Exhale to your heart. Inhale to mountain. Just kind of notice how the body feels. Breathe in. Let it out. <sighs> Inhale. Reach back up. Stretch up. Push into your feet. Lift up through your heart space. Hands into prayer. Fold down. Halfway lift. Hands to the mat. Step back to down dog. Push the mat away. Stretch back through the tailbone. Knees toward the mat. Exhale back. Inhale, knees toward the mat. Maybe you can look ahead. Come on back. Knees to the mat. Come on back. Soften the feet. Find where you're comfortable. Let's go ahead and walk the dog. Inhale, plank. Shoulders out of the ears. Right leg lifts up. Knee into the chest. Arch the back. Inhale, go long. Drop the leg. Inhale, plank, legless up, knee into the chest, inhale long, drop the leg, soften your knees, look to the hands, step the feet up, fold, halfway lift, fold, left foot comes back. If you have blocks, this is a place where you can use blocks. Blocks help you so you're not squishing into your your leg, you can lift up the chest. If you want to drop that back knee all the way down, you can. It's actually a little bit of a deeper stretch if you bring the knee all the way down. If that's not comfortable, keep it up. Find your breath. Let it out. Inhale. Pull your right hip back so that front leg straightens a bit. Exhale, bend your knee. Inhale, pull back. Exhale and bend. Inhale, pull back. Exhale and bend. Step the back foot up. Fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Hands to the blocks. Go ahead and step your right foot back. Again, if you don't want to use the blocks, your fingers will be down on the floor. Fingers, not hands. Come up to your fingers so you have enough space for your chest. 
and then take a breath in. And as you exhale, you can let the hips slip down. You can drop that back knee all the way down if that feels okay for you. If not, leave it lifted. And then we're going to go ahead and lift that back knee back up. Take an inhale, pull that front hip back straight through the front leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. And again, blocks can be used just so you have a little more space, a little more room to take a nice breath. Bend and straighten. And then go ahead and bend. Let your shoulders relax. Hips dip down just a bit. And then let's hop that back foot forward. Fold, halfway lift, fold, inhale, reach up, squeeze that belly button in, stretch up, maybe take the thumbs back, a little back bend, exhale, fold, halfway lift, hands to the mat, step your left foot back, find that lunge again, use your blocks if you'd like, left hand on the floor or on a block, right hand opens up, find a twist. Take three breaths here, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. And again, ideally, here I know you can't see my hand, you're up on your fingers, whether you're on the block or on the floor, up on your fingers. That way you're just not collapsing into your arm. You're using your strength to hold you up here. And then go ahead and take your right arm down, step your left foot up, fold, halfway lift, fold, right leg comes back. Find your lunge, get comfortable where you're at, Fingers on the floor or on a block. And then open up the arms. Roll the shoulders out of the ears. So again, make sure you're not hunching. Lift and open the chest. Stretch from fingertip to fingertip. Try not to lose. Try not to pull back on that bend in your front knee. Maybe let the hips sink down a bit here. Find your breath in. And out. Think about relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. In. And out. One more. And then exhale. Go ahead and bring that hand down. We're going to step that back foot up, fold, halfway lift, fold, inhale, reach up, be tall. On the exhale, sweep your arms back, lean forward, stretch back through your fingers, pull your waistline in, inhale, lift up, exhale to your heart, inhale to a mountain, find your feet, find your space, give your knees a little bounce, remind yourself to keep the knees soft here. And we're going to do a little balance to end all this out with right foot down. Maybe lift up the toes and then give your toes a little strum. See my feet? And we're going to let the toes land down and then come to your left toes. Inhale your left knee up. And again, notice if you let this left hip crank up, try to bring it back to level. Find your breath. We're going to take our left hand to our shin and then we're going to raise the right arm up. Maybe lift that knee up a little high. Flex the toe up toward the knee. Lift up nice and tall. And if the foot comes down, that's okay. Take another breath. Get it back under control. Pull your waistline in. Three nice breaths. Arm comes down. Foot comes down. Let's give the feet a little shake. Let's... Like when we were walking the dog, bending the knees, lifting the heels, waking all that up. Bounce the knees again. Remember to keep your knee soft. Push gently into that left foot. Come to your right toes. Maybe lift the left toes and then land into all four corners of that foot. Relax through your shoulders. Bring your right knee up. Flex your toe towards your knee again. Try to make sure you're not cranking up that hip. Bring that back to level. Pull your belly button in here. Maybe think about squeezing your inner thighs together. And then we're going to take our right hand to our shin. We're going to pull that knee up just a little bit higher. And we're going to lift up through our left arm. Again, you don't have to squeeze your head. Keep a little bit of space between your shoulder and your neck. Find your breath. And then let the arm come down. Let the leg come down. Give the feet a little shake. Let's rock back and forth from the ball to the heel of the foot. Next time we inhale, go ahead and lift up the arms and raise up the heels. Exhale, come down. Inhale, breathe and lift. Exhale, lower. One more, breathe and lift. Exhale, lower. Soften your knees. Take a deep breath and sweep up the arms. 
hands come in the prayer. And actually, we're going to interlace our fingers here. And our pointer fingers are going to point. So I know you guys can't see me. I'll go all that way. But we're going to stretch up, lift through the heart, soften your knees, breathe in. On your exhale, lean over to the right. Inhale, come back up, soften your knees, lift up your chest, lean over to the other side. Inhale, come back up. Hands to prayer, exhale down to your heart. Find your breath, bring your thumbs to your chest. Soften your knees. Take 10 slow breaths here. Feel the rise and fall of your chest beneath your thumbs. Hear the sound of your breath. Feel your feet touching the mat. Feel where the breath is landing in your body and see if you can get it to go just a little bit deeper. Feel your palms touching, feel the feet on the floor. Allow yourself to feel a little more focused, a little more here. Take one more deep breath in, reach up. Palms come together, we touch our minds and our hearts. And today we say peace, peace for our mind, bodies and souls. Thank you and have a good rest of your day.